Hi, I'm Kevin Hall, and you're watching Life Minute TV. So for fall 2022, um, we uh, did a collection that uh, is inspired by um, Morocco and inspired by Mali and the idea of trade. The collection is called uh, Trading Post, and it really speaks to how fabrics, cultures, uh, information uh, move, you know, in a trading post and how in a trading post you would see all kinds of beautiful, you know, textiles and spices and everything kind of coming together in this intersection of cultures uh, and people. So in my mind, I imagine, you know, in antiquity, beautiful, um, you know, people just merging together. Again, the fabrics, the textures, the beautiful rich colors, We developed a number of the fabrics. We have beautiful tapestries um, in, you know, colors like aubergine and burgundy. A lot of the fabrics are um, uh, uh, accented with gold or blackened to gold details. We've got some beautiful um, tweed fabrics that are multicolored, that are rich, which we fringed, which kind of speaks to how uh, rugs were um, uh, woven and then the fringe and the edges of the rugs, you know, had this beautiful detail and you see all those colors come out from what was in the rugs. There's gorgeous um, fabrics that are silk that are shot with lurex in silver and in gold. Um, so it, it, it really has a wonderful kind of shine and a luster to it. And um, textiles that that um, are both you know beautiful to look at and also luxurious to feel and to wear. Silhouettes are um, really kind of diverse. We have uh, some silhouettes that are long and lean um, with slits. We always want to give a little bit of sexiness to the collection. So if we did the proportion a little bit longer, then we did a really high slit. There's a few um, mini shapes as well, um, where we have, um, you know, the volume is in the mini and then there might be a flourish of a huge ruffle or some kind of detail, you know, at the side at the side hip. And then additionally, there are um, some some beautiful, beautiful uh, suiting. One of my favorite suit looks or one of my favorite, and also one of my favorite fabrics is this beautiful kind of gold shot lurex um, zebra. And that zebra is in, in black and white. And then it has a very, very subtle, sh um, you know, shimmer of gold in it. And we cut uh, asymmetrical tuxedo jacket and a bootleg pant in that, which is a knockout. And then a beautiful um, diamond cutout neckline dress, mid calf with a high slit. And we accented all these pieces with, you know, things that I thought would have been you know, kind of indicative or, or spoke to that that period. And so there were, you know, flat boots, suede boots, high thigh high boots, um, also booties and, um, you know, bags uh, or accessories that um, kind of look to Morocco with um, nail heads and with um, um, eyelet cutouts. The colors, you know, aubergine, amber, saffron, amethyst, um, onyx, um, colors that really look to, um, you know, stones and materials uh, and look to, um, you know, uh, beautiful things that have texture and um, weight to it. So, um, you know, there's graphite as well. But again, as I mentioned before, everything has just this kind of blackened, dark, rich um, uh, tone to it. The must-have piece. I don't know if there's one must-have piece. I would say that that zebra suit is a must-have piece. That is amazing. I would say that something in one of those beautiful Lurex chiffons is something that a woman should have because it's sexy and floaty and sensuous and beautiful. Um, I have one of the newer pieces um, that is just coming through now. It wasn't in the video, but it will be seen on the runway uh, on the 25th is this um, beautiful double-faced um, tactile um, uh, wool that um, is, we did it in capes and we did it in beautiful long coats that are have huge shawl collars that tie with tassel belts. And um, I, I would think that that's a must have. So I would say a must have would be, you should own a coat from the collection. 
You should own a fabulous suit look from the collection and, and a beautiful evening or cocktail dress. Those are your must haves. It was exciting because, you know, I decided to shoot the um, video in a, in a store. Uh, and that store is called Badia Designs. And um, they have just, you know, uh, an enormous collection. Like the inventory in that store, just amazing. Like when we shot the, the zebra suits, it was in a room filled with the most beautiful uh, dressers and cabinets inlaid with ivory and inlaid with uh, pearl. And then, you know, there was a whole area with the rugs. And then there was a beautiful outdoor area that had pottery, huge, you know, pottery from, from um, Morocco. And then there was an area that had these gorgeous iron gates. And then of course, you know, in, in Morocco, they're known for their beautiful doorways. So there were sections of this, of their building that had beautiful doors. And in the opening of the, of the film, the girls entered through the doors. And then at the very end of the film, you know, the last scene was of, with them walking back towards those doors to make their exit. So um, it was great. And I really do feel that, you know, um, there's nothing that beats a fabulous runway show. You know, when you have that, that girl walking on that runway and the audience is there and that energy of that walk. But in this particular case, I really do feel like we were still able to capture the essence of what I wanted to say for the, for the, for the line um, in that beautiful environment. And each time that we um, showed a new look, I felt like the looks matched the setting that we put the girls in. So hair and makeup, I want it to be, want it to be, um, you know, a, a kind of a natural mouth. Um, usually uh, when we pump up the eyes, we kind of make the mouth less important. I didn't want them to look too made up. So we did, you know, really beautiful eyes um, with smoky eye, uh, a little bit of lash, an important brow. Um, and then a line that went over the lid, which I think kind of, you know, popped that, that, that looked really very, very well. And then again, the lip was um, sort of a muted rosy color um, uh, to their natural, to their natural tone. And then the hair, um, you know, I'm, I'm loving cornrows right now. So uh, we were able to get a um, hair, a hair designer that was able to come in and do a, a variation on the cornrow, which in this particular case, the, our model had a thin row of cornrows and then a, a, a heavier row and then a thin row and a heavier row, which was kind of a new look for the cornrow. We've seen them. A lot of people are doing them, but they're usually pretty uniform. So this was kind of a, a, a regular cornrow look. And then our other girl, actually, that was just kind of her natural way that she showed up looking like that when we did the casting. And we thought, God, this she's gorgeous. We'll book her and you can just do the same hair. <laughs> So her hair was just very natural and curly. You know, she had a little bit of product in there and we just kind of, you know, uh, pumped it up and gave her a little bit more um, volume and height to it. But it was, you know, they just both looked, you know, natural, like they were, you know, made up slightly going to market, <laughs> going to the trading post. I thought it complemented it very well uh, because, you know, it was, it was simple uh, and the clothes I feel are more opulent. Um, so, you know, I didn't, certainly didn't want them to look like, you know, drag queens or just overdone. I wanted them to really look like they were going to be turned out, you know, going to um, the, the trading post and beyond, you know, they, you know, because of all the, all the luxury uh, fabrics and all the beautiful silhouettes, you know, uh, I see these clothes going to a lot of really great um, spaces. I am in the process of developing a home collection. And, um, you know, I love a beautiful environment. I like to surround myself with beauty. My eyes are always searching constantly for beauty. And um, so just kind of just speak of this home collection we're doing. Um, we're actually launching it with Saks Off Fifth. And um, it's candle, beautiful candles, trays, um, serving trays, coaster sets. And we've got some other great things that are coming down the line. Like, you know, there's going to be sheets and towels and linens and, and that kind of thing that we're going to, you know, be putting in the market, you know, at other retailers and also online uh, at KevinHallDesigns.com. For the Saks Off Fifth, we, the, the, um, we did a group, uh, which is the candles and the coaster trays and the coaster and trays. And that's what we call it Hollywood Regency. So there's like a geometric chevron. There's a sort of a vintage, a geometric um, pattern. 
and then there's a uh, irregular stripe and it's platinum and platinum and white. So it really kind of speaks to that Hollywood Regency era. And then we also did a group that's called Brush Strokes. And Brush Strokes actually looks back to my collection that I did last season for spring uh, 22. And that's sort of with a painterly hand, a, looks like it's like a watercolor brush stroke. And the jars, the candle jars in this particular case, look like brush stroke um, uh, watercolors in a sort of gray and black and ivory, frosted ivory glass, which will sit in anybody's home. And then also a blue. And that blue is like a brush stroke. And that fragrance is more like um, a sea, um, you know, outdoor kind of sea, sea um, faring kind of uh, fragrance. So, you know, as I mentioned, always I'm constantly on the search for beauty. So as I'm, you know, looking, you know, I'm going to museums, I'm going to the theater, I go to, you know, um, uh, you know, I do the research. It's never a problem having an idea of what to do next. It's in the execution, you know, it's just, you know, finding the time to do it, you know, doing the prep to to get the work done and and, um, and executing. But um, yeah, I just, you know, inspiration is just all around me, all around me all the time. I like to relax. Uh, we have a we have a, a spot that we love that's in the Sequoia National Forest. So I'll take the family there and we will just, you know, we'll sit on the screen port, sit in the backyard, watch the river pass. There's a, it's right on the river. So we will, um, you know, enjoy, you know, El Fresco dining. We'll, you know, hike. I do a lot of hiking there uh, in the summertime or actually more like in the fall when the water level is very low. We'll wade out into the river and find a nice rock and let the water kind of swirl around us and then we'll dive off the rocks and swim. And um, so I, I really enjoy that. I just like to relax and you know spend time with family. And um, and I also go there to work though. You know that's actually where I get my best work done. I'll go there um, pre-collection and I'll design most of the collection at the river. I'll fly in my assistant designers, and we'll all go to the to the house and we'll work. So I think that, um, you know, it's important for a woman to understand her body and not to be a, um, you know, uh, a victim to trends and what people say is, you know, the, the, look, of the, the look of the day or the flavor of the month. Um, know their body and, uh, you know, stand in a mirror and be objective about, you know, how you look in something. Um, I think in a woman's wardrobe, I'll kind of say that, uh, you know, there, there's several things that she should own. She should have, you know, a great pair of fitting jeans. She needs to have, um, I think a beautiful white shirt is an important thing for her to have. It's nothing more fabulous to me than a woman in a gorgeous tailored white crisp shirt. And that crisp white shirt can go with jeans and that shirt also goes with a beaded skirt. It goes with a ball gown skirt. I love a crisp white shirt. She should have a beautiful trench coat. Um, and that trench coat could be in, you know, black or navy or in khaki. I think that's an important. A, a great turtleneck is a wonderful thing for her to have. And a beautiful black dress or navy dress. And if she doesn't want navy, then maybe she should have a great red dress. When in doubt, wear red. <laughs> I think, you know, the future of fashion, I think people are, you know, are so used to, um, you know, during 2020, uh, being at home in their sweats and being, you know, comfortable. So I think that this whole comfort trend is going to continue. But I think having said that, the other side of the coin is I think they're sick of being in sweats. So I think they're going to want to be in comfortable beauty. <laughs> they want to look good, but they want to, you know, maintain that that feeling of comfort and that feeling of ease. And so even on this collection that we did for spring 2022, we've got some, you know, very pretty jersey pieces that are reversible jersey pieces, um, uh, or I should say double face fabric, you know, that is beautiful on one side as well as on the other. Super, super comfortable, super, um, you know, great, great to feel and great to live in.